getting freaky on a Friday night. Yeah. Don't tell me y'all didn't think I would ignore Indie Cross for a video. Come on. Y'all, y'all better know. Me. Hey, y'all know me better than that at this point with the freaking. Uh, I said I in, in okay in the Tabby Agati uh, entity video. I said that I enjoy most all of the mods to a certain extent. Andy Cross is definitely in my top three. Okay? There's no way I'm going to ignore it. No way. I'm just gonna go get right into it. Let's go. If I can... Where's my mouse? There it is. That's better. No. Story mode. Now, I'm sure all of y'all already know this about the story modes, is you go through three different weeks against three different indie characters. You have Cuphead, Sans, and Bindi. Let's go in order. Week one, Cuphead. Crazy portal opening, where would I be? Well, it's no portal, but looks like I found the screw loose. Hey, Buster, you got a lot of knife messing with our land. Let's say we settle this here and now. Huh? <laughs> be good day for a swell battle. Snake eyes. Three misses. I've... Five misses. Eh. Like I said before, I don't really care about the misses or accuracy. I'm just here for the amazing mechanics, gameplay, and music. Let's go. I saw that. I saw that. I saw the mechanic screen. I'm gonna wait until after the cutscene to talk about it. You got it, but please, Cuphead, no more violence. I'll be back before you even know it. Isn't that Will Ryan of DA Games voicing Mugman? Doesn't do well with damage. Now where were we? Oh yeah, let's double down. But then again, he does a lot of great voices, so he could be doing voice acting for. Both Cuphead and Mugman. And I know for sure he didn't do the voice. I know Sammy appears in the Bindi week. I know for sure D uh, Will didn't do Sammy's voice. Alright, 
Enough of that. Uh, this mechanic screen right here. So you have attacking. When Cuphead starts shooting blue bullets, you need to interrupt him by attacking back. Attacking is only available after you hit a parry note. Dodging. To avoid big projectiles, Cuphead, excluding Cuphead's bullets, use the dodge button at the right time to have safely evade his attacks. Also be aware, whenever you see parry notes on Cuphead's side, that means he is ready to send a big projectile at you. Alright. You're up! There are times where the mechanics will, uh, might end up getting too much for me. So I'll give that song three tries with the mechanics before I turn them off. So basically, three, it's like the three strike rule. And in case if anyone didn't notice it, but each song in Cuphead's weeks are a reference to something from his actual game. Snake Eyes, Technicolor Tussle, and the third song I know is called Knockout. I'm trying to fix my frickin' headphones. I hit right when the last arrow was up. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I mentioned this in the last uh, in Entity and Tabby video, but whenever you see me uh, doing this right here, I have a Spider-Man blanket from my childhood draped over my... I have a tote as a makeshift desk. So I'm using this as a convenient way to dry this, uh, all the sweat off my hands. Beep. Oh, oh boy. And here comes the dodge mechanic. Oh. Oh, that was close. No. Oh, that was close. Oh no. I missed the pairing notes, so I'm, I might be screwed. Oh, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I 
I knew it. You had your run, but now you're done. Yeah, that's also another thing with this mod, is that each time, uh, depending on what character you die to, it has a game over reference from that game. Finally! Like I said, I don't care about the misses or accuracy. No. Boom! I missed the parry note, but the card is almost filled, so I should be good for a few notes. No! Oh my god. Mugman! And I got the card this time, finally. Oh my god, was that fun? Yeah. No. Woo! He gone. He gone. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go get something to drink real quick. And... Okay. Long ago, maybe not that long, two heroes, Cuphead and Boyfriend, were doing a stupid rap battle. As the battle progressed, Cuphead became angry, for some reason. The two fought through a great storm leaving Boyfriend badly injured. Boyfriend disappeared through a mysterious portal, leaving Cuphead in a fit of confusion. But after one week, Boyfriend emerged from the portal, falling into a new world. For about five minutes. Well, well, here we are. Uh, sure. Take your time. Okay. Here we go with the sands. It's Sans! Welcome to the underground. How was your fall? Hold up. You can't just... You start the freaking Sans dialogue with 
a freaking JT Music reference to the bone. Okay. <sighs> you know what? I'll give you that one. But yeah, uh, the Sands Week here has two different endings. Either a good ending or a bad ending. And yes, I'm going to do both of them. You know, I was hard to tell you to shreds and spread those ashes across six different suns. After a few rounds of rap battling, for some reason, ready yourself, human. Yang Yang! Oh! Yeah. For that opening, y'all saw the blue notes and orange uh, bone notes. Y'all saw the orange bone notes and the blue bone notes. If I hit a blue bone note, I die. If I miss an orange bone note, I die. It's a re it's a straight up uh, reference from Undertale itself. Blue, you don't move. Orange, you do move. Actually, that bad. <clears throat> Good luck with that kid. Let's continue, shall we? Okay, before I start reading the dialogue for Sans here, remember, I did say there's two different endings for uh, the Sans week either a pacifist ending or a genocide ending. Your choice on the ending depends on what happens during the second song, whether you attack Sans or not. That... If you don't attack Sans at all, or a minimum of... or a maximum of one or two times, that's fine. But at, if you try to attack Sans at least three times, that will trigger the genocide route. Alright. Let's get to this dialogue. You see, I can't judge the book by its cover, but I know what happened with you and that cup guy. I'd say if you tried the same with me, things won't turn out so well. Out to you, kid. No pressure. Sensational. Tensu Bushi! <laughs> I 
I'm not attacking. I'm going pacifist first. Okay, depending on... Okay, the first half is, uh... We and you can decide the route. Right here, it's locked. So right now I'm in the gen uh, the pacifist, uh, the pacifist side. Oh my lord. I do enjoy Final Stretch, though, which is the name of the pass uh, the third pacifist song. Frisk, what are you doing? <laughs> Not Toby. Not Toby. Leave Toby Fox alone. Oh. I'm actually surprised you didn't. Well, this is awkward. Yes, sir. Phew, that was close. How the hell did they... Well, it doesn't matter now. I'm surprised you didn't try anything. I guess you learned something from last time. Let's finish this. This song right here, I don't have to worry about any dodging or attacking. That's good. Final Stretch by Saru. Welcome to Waterfall. Oh boy. I missed one in there. Oh well. Oh 
my god. That's gonna go way higher than three misses right now. The score for that one was 143,000 on the dot. You know what? I like that. Bone notes? Sorry about that. I didn't expect you to have a change of heart. Well, I guess our time's up. I'm going to grill bees. Let's meet again soon, okay? It's those blue notes I need to be careful of. And now we're going to pat the genocide paths now. Oh boy. Oh. Not gonna get through Frisk. Oh, this I didn't even realize the freaking sound. Honestly, I don't see the point in. Man, look at your eyes. You really need some eye drops. Oh. I'm still sticking by my rule that I said earlier. The three... The three strikes. If I die, uh, I'll give the song three chances with the mechanics before I turn them off. Because I don't want this video to go on forever. Burning in Hell. The Innuendo and Saster. And now the bombs are uh, instant kill. Move over to the arrow piece. Arrow keys again. Oh. Oh no.
<laughs> okay, y'all saw how far I was. Y'all saw how far I was from the first attempt. Where's my stress ball? No way. No, 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 no. Hold on. I'm pinching myself. I'm pinching myself. That's not real. I've had so much trouble on Burning in Hell before. I spent an hour, almost two hours on this song. And now I'm recording it. And now when I'm recording it, I beat it on the second try with the mechanics. Genocide. Brutally attack Sam. Okay, so I got the genocide achievement now. Y'all just didn't see it because my webcam's in the way. Because the achievements show up at the top right. Oh. My. God. No shot that just happened. Alright. Next one is Mindy. It's uh, Mr. Bindi. Where's Joey? Where's Joey Drew? My legs are getting a cramp. Mm. Nice, the cutout. I always loved the freaking cutouts and Bindi. Sorry about that. So, I know earlier in the video I said that I'm I use a tote as a makeshift desk. It's be, uh, that also means I'm sitting crisscross on the floor, and right now my le my right leg is having a massive cramp. I just can't uh, I can't get a chair for it because first off, that's not the right uh, level to sit at for a tote. FC so far. I love. It. Out of all these weeks, I think Bindi is my favorite, despite the last song. Unfortunately, uh, y'all weren't able to see the special Sans uh, game over like you did with Cuphead. Because that one only triggers whenever we're inside the uh, black and white area.
No, yeah, that only triggers whenever we're in the black and white area. Kind of like how it's the Sam's boss fight from Undertale. It's just the regular uh, heart split, uh, the red heart splitting apart and blowing into pieces. That uh, that sequence from Undertale, which I actually like. Did I miss another one? Ah, oh, Lord. Oh yeah, that's another uh, mechanic with Bendy is that he drains your health. So if you're if he ends up draining your health close to the bottom, if you're not careful enough, you will die. My lord, Sammy. What the? Hmm, I see. There's only one way to put an end to this, but it's not gonna be pleasant. What the? Sammy, don't you fucking curse. Okay. <laughs> Only I'm allowed to curse. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just move on. Special... N oh, Lord. Oh, no. Here we go. Ink notes are mines that will slowly cover your entire screen with ink, preventing you from assessing your surroundings. If too much ink covers your screen, you will die. Shadow notes are instant kill mines that must be avoided. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, I was about to say, if I could keep an FC on this... Now I'm gonna try to be surprised. No, I missed one. You're not scaring anyone, you freaking piece of wood. Let's go! Yeah, like I said, with uh, every single week has 
their songs uh, as a reference. Like for Cuphead, it was Snake Eyes, Technicolor Tussle, and Knockout. <laughs> Sans, you have Whoopi, Sensational, uh, Final Stretch, and Burning in Hell. Bendy Week, you have uh, for the Bendy Week, you have Eminent Demise, Terrible Sin. The one that I'm about to play right uh, coming up here in just a second is called Last Reel, and then the fourth Bendy song is called Nightmare Run. Oh boy. Uh, same thing as before, special notes, the ink notes, and the shadow notes, but this time we have combat mechanics. Members of the Butcher Gang can either come from the left or right of the screen only once they stop walking and begin their attacks can you use the left or right attack buttons to combat them. While waiting for your attack cooldown, dodge the Butcher Gang's attacks by pressing the dodge key. Note, there's two attack buttons. Yes. So, I know y'all uh, have probably, like, taken glances of the webcam up in the top right to see my fingers. And... Y'all can obviously tell I have the D, uh, DFJK as the key bindings. The two, uh, the two attack buttons, the, by default, they're the two shift keys, but I changed them just so I don't have to reach my pinky out. So my two attack buttons, I have S as the left attack, uh, left attack and L as my right attack. That's why I kept on accidentally throwing my mic at Cuphead in the, uh, during knockout. And as usual, uh, dodges the space. Striker again. Let's go. Hey, it's the stick man. Oh. Oh, well, fuck you too, then. I'm sorry, what? just happened okay either i hit a shadow note or i died from the health bar one of those two bye stick man hey Coming up next, just just dodge. Yeah, that's a reference to Bendy and the Ink Machine. Whenever uh, Bendy is around, he got an ink cloud. Uh, whenever he's around, and if the Butcher King are in that ink cloud, they will die. Oh no.
As soon as I saw those shadow notes, I was like, oh crap. Let's go. <laughs> He's thinking about Witty. See, I love I love Witty. He's one of the best mods there is. Run. Uh, yeah, so, same thing as I usually say. Three strike rule, I'll try the song with three, uh, I'll try the song three times with the mechanics, then I'll turn them off. And I know for sure, Nightmare Run, I'll probably have to turn them off. Oh lord. Arranging music and Rosebud? There's one. There's one. The ink, the combination between the ink notes and the bendy draining my health is always a pain. Oh no. That's two. Excuse me? Okay, that's number three. It's same exact spot as the second one. That's number three. Mechanics are turned off. I'm i I'm sorry, Orangey and Rosebud, but where the gameplay and mechanics. Orangey music and Rosebud, I, I love the music that you guys make for these mods, but this charting, fucking hell. Oi. It's like... Yeah. Like I said, the, me the mechanics makes this song so much harder than it needs to be. And I'm not even a veteran uh, Friday Night Funkin' player, so that's a bit of a really tough challenge for me. I love the fact that the right arrow animation is boyfriend giving Bindi a middle finger. Ink machine. Nice. Oh, oh. 
Rico. Oye, ¿cuál es el Okay, I okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it right now while the cutscene's going. I know I'm gonna get some comments down below saying the reason why you turned off mechanics in Nightmare Run is because you were spamming. I've been recording Friday Night Funkin' mods for the past three hours or so. My fingers are getting stiff. Yes, I said three hours. Indie Cross. This one, uh, this one recording at the moment right now, as the cutscene's going, is at an hour sixteen minutes. I recorded Entity, I recorded Tabby, I recorded Indie Cross, and I'm, and I also recorded uh, Big Swing and Sister. So if y'all want to give, so y'all are more than welcome to roast me in the comments about the spamming for Nightmare Run. Please do, because I can take any criticism whatsoever. Ooh. Also, my back is getting stiff. Holy. This is a freaking smash fight right here. Look at how bloody he got. Uh. uh Bendy confirmed for a me brawler outfit win. <laughs> that's actually a good idea. Because that's actually a good idea. Oh, uh, we missed our chance though. <laughs> because you have Cuphead and Sans as me gunner costumes, but not but you don't have a Bendy outfit. That should definitely be a me brawler. Probably in the next. Uh, it's probably going to be in the next Smash game, though. Okay, that's the credits, but I'm, I'm going to do the credits after I do the last songs, because I plan to do every other song uh, in the mod in this one video. But before I get to the free play songs, I need to turn the mechanics back on. There we go. And yes, as you can see, I've already unlocked the Nightmare songs, but I have not touched them. I have touched the bonus songs, although, yes. The only bonus song I did not get is, uh, the one where versus some mess, because apparently you get a Google Drive link when you, uh, try to unlock it. And I don't have good in- turn that right now. Can I get a s- okay. Editing Shadow, I need you to get a screenshot of that demon, uh, of that demon's face as soon as he ran into me, right before the card showed up. That's a good face. Yoink! God dang it. Here's a real high class bell. And begin! The innuendo, satanic point.
I think that's a common mechanic between demons, is that they drain your health. I'm gonna stick to my word and grab the freaking screenshot of that demon's face when he ran into me that first time. That was amazing. Bad to the bone. <coughs> this is versus Papyrus. Yama hearted. Just so everyone knows, the be uh, since Papyrus was the only one in that one, that's the song you unlock in the bonus songs when you uh, do the genocide fat in the Sands Week. Bone Doggle, however, as you notice, it has both Sands and Papyrus' icons. That's, uh, this is the song that you un unlock when you do the pacifist pat in the Sands Week. Saster? Okay, let's go. Yeah, here we go. Oh my lord. I need to pay attention to the left notes too. <laughs> Forehead solo. <laughs> <laughs>
Let's go. Ritual, which y'all can't tell because of uh, the icon for it, but that's supposed to be Sammy. Yeah, Sammy Lawrence. Sheep, sheep, sheep. It's time for sleep. It's time. Baby Panzu and Brandon or Brandexon's uh, I can't pronounce that name. I apologize. I'm so sorry if I uh, mispronounce your name. E e o e no. This one, all right. Near the end of the song, he's supposed to throw his axe at you. I need to keep an eye on that. <laughs> I missed it. 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 There we go. Alright. I think right there should be a good spot, right? Or... No. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. That should be a good spot right there. Hold up. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. This is uh, arranged by DA Games and Saster. The first half of it sound, uh, is like build our machine, but after a transformation, to me it sounds like Instruments of Cyanide for a little bit. Then at the very end, as the piano fades, it sounds like Mr. Crooked. That was Builder that was Builder Machine. Mm -hmm. 
This is the part that I said sounds like instruments of cyanide. Oh! And there's the piano I said sounds like, uh, as it fades away, it's it sounds like the piano from Mr. Uh, Mr. Crooked, which is D.A. Gaines' extra bendy song. Because you have Builder Machine for Chapter 1, uh, Gospel of Dismay for Chapter 2, Instruments of Cyanide for Chapter 3, then you have Meet Thy Maker to, uh, as a combination for Chapters 4 and 5, and then you have Mr. Crooked as a bonus song. Enough uh, DA games history. Uh, this is gonna, uh, this is gonna be hell. I know, I know, uh, y'all probably can't see it because of my webcam being in the way, but y'all can see like the red letter saying "devil is." That means, uh, that means the song is locked on impossible difficulty. Oh, what the heck? Same thing. What the heck just happened? Is this the game over? Alright, I'm just going back. Same rule, three times, and then I turn the mechanics off. Three, two, one, go! What the heck? He just throws that out of nowhere! I don't see a parry note! That was number three. This is impossible. This is literally impossible with the mechanics. Three, two, one, go. Why does it look like the devil's dead? What was that? That oh, I know what that was. That was the loading screen now for the nightmare songs. Oh, this is gonna be hell. I what? I went into the options and turned the mechanic. Oh no! Three, two, one, go. Hold up! Hold up! 
So whether you enable the mechanics or uh, disable, whether you have the mechanics enabled or disabled, it doesn't matter. It, they're still gonna be there in the nightmare songs. Oh no. This is gonna be hell. doing that to me oh my okay you know what I'm gonna make this uh, final attempt I'm gonna make this the final attempt on uh, Devil's Gambit I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't want to go through that whole, uh, I don't want to go through a freaking hour of trying to play Devil's Gambit. This one's called Bad Time, and it's, and it says it's locked on genocidal. Oh no, and I think I remember seeing videos for this one too. The bones that come through the ground, they're colored orange and blue, whether you have to move or not. Like that. That one was colored blue, and I hit spacebar, which killed me. That. Nope. Oh, that one I moved. Blue note. That one was a blue bow note. Okay, since I can't turn off the mechanics for the Nightmare Songs, I'll give them five attempts before I move on to the next one. That one doesn't count because I was talking to you guys. I won't count that. I will not count that one. Nope. That one counts, because I was actually pressing notes. It's reflex. It was a reflex, and I hit spacebar, and it killed me. What number was that one? Uh... I yeah, I'll just say that one was number three. Nope. I hit a blue bone note. That's number four. number five. That one was number five, but I'm actually impressed I got further than the second uh, part. I got further than the second uh, verse. <sighs> Despair. This one's locked on demonic. Well then, may God have mercy on my soul. Despair. CD Music, Joan Atlas, and Rosebud. Those are ink notes.
Get out of here! I, I know you don't cover the nose, but you're a freaking distraction. Okay, that one was number one. Number three. Number four. I couldn't see because of the ink being on the screen. Also, yeah, that was number five, so I'm out. But I couldn't see uh, specific, like, exactly where the notes were going to be at because of the ink, obviously. So, and I also don't know what killed me spe uh, for that one. It was either Striker hit me and knocked me out, or I missed too many notes on that. I was spamming too much on that section and was... I know for sure it wasn't too much ink covering my screen because this ink was starting to fade away. So it must have been from either Striker hitting me and knocking me out or it was... Uh, I missed another note and it ended up killing me. Or, poten or potentially the ink was fading away but then a shadow note showed up and that was what killed me. But I think I'm I need to give my hands a bit of a rest because I will say the this entire mod is phenomenal. I love every bit of it. The only thing uh the only song I'm technically missing is the one versus Seness. But, like I said, that requires a link from a Google Drive as you lose the Papyrus in Bone Doggle. And my connection isn't really the best. So, 
I'll have to try that again another day.